In MaxQDA you can link quantitative and qualitative data using the mixed methods functions. To do this, I can assign attributes in the form of variables for different documents in my MaxQDA project. These document variables can be used for different mixed methods functions. The options for creating or editing document variables can be found in the Variables tab. The list of document variables lists all variables that have been created so far. Some of these variables, such as the creation date or the number of assigned coded segments, are created automatically by MaxQDA. These variables are marked with a red square and feature the entry System in the Source column. We can now create a new variable by clicking this button here. Here we can name a variable and determine what type of variable it is. In addition, a missing value can be added at this point. This will be helpful when you want to conduct statistical analysis in MaxQDA later on. Later on, we can display these favorite variables as columns in the overview of coded segments. This way we can look at the variable values for each coded segment. The values of the variables can now be edited when we switch to the data editor and enter the respective value in the corresponding column of the variable. Variables and their values can also be imported into MaxQDA from an Excel table. The table must have the following format. The individual documents are listed in the rows and the variable values are entered in the columns. In MaxQDA, variables can also be created from the code system. To do this, we right-click on one of the codes and then click on Transform into Document Variable. In the Data Editor, a new column appears with the name of the code. If we activate several codes, we can also transform several codes into variables via this button here. The cells here then show how often the code occurs in the document. You can also create categorical variables from your codes if, for example, you have codes in your code system that form an assessment scale, such as the well-being assessment here. To do this, we make a right-click on the upper code and select Transform into a Cathedral Document Variable. The most frequent subcode is now displayed in the data editor. If the code positive was used more often than the code negative in the interviews, then this most frequent code is displayed here. If neither of the two codes was used, the cell remains empty. And if both codes were assigned equally often, not defined is displayed in the corresponding cell. These variables can now be a good starting point for a mixed methods analysis by activating documents via certain variables. For this purpose, I can define the conditions according to which the documents are activated.